Yo, what up? It's your boy T-Rex, a.k.a. Mr. One Love T.O. I made a t-shirt for the people because uh, I believe in our people. I believe that we are the world in one city. I believe we are the best city in the world. Why? Because we represent every inch of the world right here in this little metropolitan. So, uh, shout out to the six, man. I appreciate you. Keep doing what you do. We're going to keep supporting you. One love. Six, 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 six. Shout out to the six, Toronto, we're on the call. Six, 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 Hey guys, it's your girl, She's So Cold, and we're back for another interview for The Six, and today I have Wes Hype here with me. Wes? What's going on? Alright, so let's get into these questions. Um, you've done many showcases in Toronto, and um, a number of them have featured uh, White Yachty. How do you feel, or what do you feel he brings to your showcase? Well, first of all, White Yachty being from the UK, it's just completely different from the energy and stuff that comes from Toronto. Yeah. But at the same time, it's similar with the Caribbean background and everything. So uh, every time White Yardy comes on stage, high energy, definitely that. And um, just his, his whole demeanor, his, he, he puts himself, a lot of himself on the stage, his, his, uh, his family history, everything you can say, you can really get to know him on stage. I think that Toronto really likes that about it. Yeah. Like he puts himself out there. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Like he, he shares a lot about himself. And I feel that's the reason why uh, his fans connect with him in Toronto. Yeah. When did you start your comedy tour and what gave you the idea to do that? Like what was, what influenced you? To be honest with you, I was a club promoter doing things, uh, doing a lot of club events and that sort of stuff. So it was just kind of an age of maturity that brought me to, to comedy and a uh, different outlet. I do events now that both females that I'm, that I'm talking to, my friends, my bridges, my mom, my grandma all come out to the event, so it's uh, it's a, it was just kind of a coming of age type thing. Okay. Um, any advice for young entrepreneurs that are looking to fill a void in the entertainment industry in our city? Young entrepreneurs, well, at the end of the day, you just got to be committed to what you're doing. Whatever it is, you got to make sure that you love it, you follow your passion. And uh, as long as you're doing what you love and you're following your passion, everything else will just fall into place. It's all about determination. Um, there will be a lot of people that will, will definitely try to tear you down and tell you certain things that won't work. But um, this is actually my fourth or fifth business. So like me doing the, the dance hall stuff before that, the club promotion, I've gotten everything. I had a graphic design company, a printing company, and overall, persevering so yeah. it's gonna it's going to work out for you. So all the young entrepreneurs out there, don't let anybody put you down or nothing like that. Alright. Who is your favorite Toronto comedian and why? And what do you feel that they bring to the table? That's a tough question. You know, <laughs> you know, I, you know I book the Toronto comedians, right? So I'm going to give you... Or your top three if you can't ah, one. Perfect. Toronto, I'm second home. No, man, you're disqualified. After this interview is a boy, you're Um, Three. First, John Paul. Um, he's a Trinidadian comedian, uh, but he's able to switch over to kind of connect with any demographic. He does a lot of stuff from stuff for just about his job, like how, where he worked previous, to his trip to Jerusalem. Just, just like his range is crazy. And he has a, his intellect, he'll, he'll make you think, he'll take jo his jokes home and kind of like reflect on him. So that's one. Two is Jay Martin. Jay Martin, I respect for both his, the fact that he uh, brings what he brings to the stage, 
and uh, also his business side. He produces his own shows. He's been striving to do his own um, TV show also. So his business combined with, like he'll be at the front door organizing such and such, and then bang on stage, it turns into a different person. So that's two. And number three, just raw talent, hands down his tricks. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of his Instagram videos. He brings it on Instagram and the exact same thing on, on, on stage. It's the only person that can go head to head with white guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna set that up just now. That's what's next. That's what's next. The, the battle between between chicks and white yardy is going down after after that. We did it one time before, you know, but it wasn't fair. It was it was uh he won one round, white yardy won one, and chicks won another day. So rematch that. So it's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie. Right right, so we need a tiebreaker. As a matter of fact, that's what this interview was about. <laughs> so okay. what's next for you after the Yeah, yeah, we are the next. <laughs> What's the plan? I don't know, you know, like, um, I'd like to bring a lot of different things to Toronto. Um, I kind of just go show by show, one show at a time. We planned this show in literally five weeks. I had another show that I was doing with um, some other comedians, and we kind of had this in the background. And that fell through, so I caught up to see y'all. Five weeks, you can pull this out. So, yeah, by the following day, we had the flyer off and just kind of move and go through. It's been hard work since, since, since then. We've been pushing since then, but we have about a thousand tickets sold right now, so I don't know what's next, but I know it'll be good. Just go with the flow, kind <laughs> just of. Just go with the flow. All right. Wherever the passion takes me. I, hear you. I like that. <laughs> okay, so that wraps up our six questions for Wes. Wes, thank you for thank coming you. out. It was a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to be here, man. Awesome. So keep it locked. Look out for the six. Bless up. All right. Same. Good stuff.